This is the Zelda Hyrule Edition Nintendo Switch Lite. One of the last special edition switches ever made, if not the last. We're gonna unbox this thing, take a look at the design, and compare it to the Tears of the Kingdom OLED to help you decide if it's worth it. Ooh, this is really exciting. Nice. Look at the sparkly, glittery gold. This looks really good. This is actually kind of a dark gold. It's not like super bright. It just looks awesome. These black buttons just look so good against the gold. All my other Switch lights have gray buttons, so it's a nice little touch that makes it stand out. And that little Triforce logo just being ever so slightly darker gold. The buttons are gold on gold. I mean, this color scheme is awesome. To be fair, black and gold has always been one of my favorite color combos. Now here's how the size compares to the Nintendo Switch OLED and the regular Switch. One cool thing about the Switch lights is they match the color of the bezel to the actual color of the Switch itself. So it just makes it look like there's less of a border, there's less of a bezel than there actually is. And with the gold, this just looks really awesome. Compared to the other Switches, the buttons on the light feel kind of cheap because, well, they are slightly more mushy, but really it's hard to tell. You do get a classic style D-pad though, which is pretty cool. The sticks are the same on both, and the L and the R on the Switch light are more matte, which I really like. And now, the back. That's pretty nice, you get the Hylian Crest, it's nice and subtle, and it's actually made up of little Triforces if you look closely, which is pretty cool. Pretty subtle, but classy. I really wouldn't want anything too much going on here in the back, but I really like the finish on this thing. I just think it's really high quality. I think what's really cool though, is that it's gold all over, compared to the Tears of the Kingdom OLED, where it's just the front of the Joy-Con. And that's really what makes it unique, if you ask me. And it comes with Nintendo Switch Online with the expansion pack for a full year. If you don't currently have a Nintendo Switch, or you just want a more portable one, I definitely recommend this. I mean, there are thousands of games from the Nintendo Switch and more great games still coming out. Please hit that subscribe button for more unboxing videos on the Nintendo Switch and whatever Nintendo comes out with next, and then tap on those boxes you see on your screen right now, and I'll see you over there in another video. Thanks, everyone. Please hit that subscribe button for more Nintendo Switching unbaka baka. Sheesh. That's gonna be the outro.